All right, so this video is created in response to Patrick F. on the Reallusion forums, who's basically asking if there's a way to adjust the perspective of a prop in your scene so that it'll match the perspective of everything else. Now, uh, Crazy Talk doesn't necessarily have a uh, type of um, um, modifying tool that will allow you to adjust the perspective or anything like that. But one solution that I could think of is that you can create a 3D prop rather than stick to what the manual says, uh, which is basically telling you that, you know, props can only have one angle and blah 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 you gotta look at the software for all the features that it does have and whether or not they're documented or not you just gotta be creative with the tools that you have so in saying that what I would suggest is you create a three-dimensional plot uh, three-dimensional prop by taking advantage of the actor creation option so in this case what I've done is I've created a house um, basically a house template with all the different angles that I could possibly use as if it was a regular character. So I've mapped these out to the hip area of a typical actor and I've imported it into Crazy Talk. So what we have is something that looks like this. Wasn't uh, Now this is not, according to the manual, a prop. According to the manual, this would be considered an actor. So uh, there's that uh, language there, but you know, um, the end result is the same. So here's a little house. If we go to the 3D editor, you can see that I can pretty much rotate this house into various angles for whatever purpose I may need. Uh, I didn't take uh, too much of my time tweaking this out, but I mean, if you're really adamant about doing this, I mean, you can adjust it yourself to whatever you need it to be. And uh, so here's a, for one, here's a house that I can pretty much rotate to whatever angle I need it to be at any given time. And um, you can already see the type of functionality that I can get out of that. Uh, also, if you go into, because it's an actor, you also have um, access to additional tools. Primarily, the 2D editor, which gives you the option to deform. And since this uh, main uh, image is mapped to my hip area of my character, I'm going to select that. And basically, I can pretty much warp it to whatever to whatever uh, I need it to be, you know. So it's a lot more powerful than the basic skewing tool that um, you know the, the traditional props have. So I think uh, if uh, you're really going for something like this, this might actually be the most um, um, creative option that you can use, and it's not really that hard to to do. So you can do this with Pipeline, or you can you do it uh, with the regular Pro version using the sprite replacement method. The idea is that you use your props as if they were actors rather than traditional props according to the CTA manual. Hope it helps. If I uh, have any other questions, please feel free to ask, and uh, I'll do my best to uh, help out.